Star piece, head back. Yep, there we go. Perfect. All right. All right, let's go get that, uh, that badge really quickly and then get back to where we came. Actually, beat Hooktail and get through all that post-game stuff for that for this chapter. Okay, now we're back in action. It's always fun. Backtracking is always fun in this game. Said no one ever. But we're getting close to the end. This is the big door that leads off to the tower. Man, I'm so glad I changed the way how I do these recordings now. Ooh, look at this hodgepodge of enemies. Do we have anything to deal with them? Ah, uh, yes we do! Nice! So we'll definitely level up before we actually face off against Hooktail, which is fine. Oh, you missed. Try that again. Granted, I missed too. There we go. <laughs> Now we're level five. Not bad. Plenty of flower power, plenty of HP. All right, there we go. And we'll have one more enemy to deal with before we deal with our first, first chapter boss. Hmm. Such a such a build up for the first fight of the first big fight of the game. It's very good. Oh, darn it. You never seem to get a first strike in that. 
Ooh, I know exactly what to do. Hit him where it hurts. <laughs> Down a power power shell mode, but that's okay. We can work with this. <laughs> All right. All right. There we go. We fought every enemy, and you got to witness it. <laughs> Not bad, not bad at all. All right, let's uh get all healed up. Let's uh go over here, turn on our cricket sound. There we go. Save all game progress. Here we go. Get ready, Hooktail. You're about to meet your maker. <clears throat> Who dares approach me? <laughs> hmm, so, you are friends of that strange garbed one who came earlier. I didn't expect more to come to steal the, pre the treasure I protect. Such rashness. That was foolish, I fear. Do you really think you can beat me? But you are so small, and you don't appear tasty. I suppose you might make a good snack. And the bottoms of your feet smell like they might make a good sauce with some spices. What I'll do is saute you to a crispy goodness and gobble you down head first. And can I just say, the boss music is awesome in this game. Snack time, little appetizers. But which one of you morsels should I taste first? All right, let's do this thing. I didn't put any like special hammer stuff, so we'll just have to deal with whatever. <laughs> Blech, that awful sound. It sounds like a cricket. How did you know? Stop that this instant. Er I got really bad uh, food poisoning once when I ate a cricket. I hate them. Oh, fight it, Hooky. Just hearing a cricket chirp makes me feel woozy. Alright. So I think it's when we activate the, uh, the cricket noise, his defense goes down. There we go. Tommy, so very woozy. Right. Ooh, ouch. Even defending is a little on the hard side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, jumping on his nose never behooved me because unfortunately he's too close that it's really difficult to know the like the, the, the height. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Yet. 
Wait, H hold up a moment. I give up, please. I won't be so bad anymore, I promise. In fact, I'm sorry for everything. Uh, yeah. Uh, to prove it, I'll give you a thousand coins. What do you say? Can you forgive me? Keep your coins, fiend. What? You must be joking. You don't need any coins. Then how about the lovely extra special badge I have? I'll give you that. It's one of a kind, and it's yours for a limited time only. Will you take it? Keep it, you cad! Uh, really? Well, I suppose I could apologize by letting you smell the bottoms of my feet. Uh, people pay good money to do this. I I'm being completely honest right now, really. Uh, so, care to take a whiff of the rich yet delicate scent of my world-renowned feet? That's disgusting. <laughs> hmm. You aren't very trusting. Uh, aren't a very trusting fellow, are you? It's important to be able to trust someone, you know. Uh, I guess I'd better. Nom 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 nom. nom. Yikes! <laughs> That's just not right. Ho 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 ho! Ah, oh, now my strength has returned to me. I've had enough of this. Let's finish this guy off fast, Mario. See, this is the one and only time where you actually do the fighting in the in the in the in the audience. That's really cool. That's so, it's such a good first in, first impression fight. <laughs> Why do I always have the feel so faint every time I hear a cricket? Uh, there we go. Just got to do this a couple times. hit and we're good. There we go. Ow! Thanks. Coops, finish him off. Nice job, Coops. But, but I... I... Oh, why? There's still so much I wanted to do with my life. So many meals. <laughs> nice job, Mario and Coops. And the first boss goes down. Wow, we actually pulled it off, Mario. Now, all we have to do is find that crystal star thing you're looking for, Mario. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm out. I'm finally out. I'm gonna give him a uh, Scottish accent. Whoa, it can't be. Eh? D Dad. Hey, you're, you're coops. Hey, son, you've gotten so big since I last saw you, saw you last. Well, 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 yes, I guess I have, but who cares, Dad? I mean, golly, what happened to you? Where have you been all this time? Well, I came here a while back to deal with Hooktail, and, I, and all I was about well and good. But just before my finishing blow, he played a trick on me and gobbled me down hole. Ah, he wanted me to smell his feet, and well... How can I pass that up? I've been hiding in Michelle for the for the ten years since then inside Hooktail's belly. And boy was it nasty. Yuck, I'm so glad I finally got out. <laughs> Honestly, Dad, don't you know how worried about you we all were? For ten long years, we all thought you you know, we thought your game was over. Oh, sorry soon, but I'm okay. That's good, right? We're together now, right? Hey, speaking of which, what are you doing here anyways? Uh, oh, come on, Dad. I came here to defeat Hooktail, who's been wreaking havoc in town. And Mr. Mario here is looking for a gem called the Crystal Star. 
Crystal Star? This wouldn't be what you're talking about, wouldn't it? What's that? I found it down there in Hooktail's belly. Nice, huh? I kept it as a souvenir. So, this is the thing you're looking for. Perfect, just perfect. You can have it. Come on now, I won't take no for an answer. You're Koops' friend. Please take it. Okay. Thank you, sir. Let's hear that victory chime. You got a crystal star. You learned the special move, Earth Tremor. Completing every chapter is always a victory. <laughs> a victory that is so, oh, so good. End of chapter. Mario and friends finally got a crystal star in the castle after defeating Hooktail. Koops even reunited with his long lost father, whom he thought was dead. Yet they were unable to learn anything about the whereabouts of the princess. Where could Princess Peach be? Yes, Mario's adventure has only just begun. <laughs> yep, saving game. Not bad, not bad at all. Whew. All right, and now time for some side story stuff. Yes, the x knots <laughs> Oh, uh oh, oh, I think I did a uh, Australian. Oh, great girl, Groda, sir. We brought the Princess Peach you ordered, sir. Well, 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 my pet. Isn't it about time you told us where the map is? Princess Peach, you will speak when spoken to. I I'm telling you, I don't know. There's no point in trying to hide it, silly girl. We know you had it. We know this. Trust me, it's very much in your interest to be absolutely honest with us. We x nots aren't all rainbows and lollipops. I assure you, we're quite nasty. I have news. Report at once. Uh, you know the crystal star we thought maybe might be in Hector Castle? Well, someone named it. <laughs> Sorry about that. What? What did you say? Someone else is after the crystal stars? And he defeated that hooktail creature, you say? Speak, soldier! Oh, uh, yes, sir. Sorry, sir. There's, uh, there's more. To see, uh, according to the report, uh, it was some mustache dude in a uh, red hat with blue overalls and, uh, who pulled the job. Sorry about that. Mario! Excuse me, Mario? Oh. What she said. <laughs> <laughs> I see. So you know of this Mario, do you? <clears throat> this fool matters not at all. I'll know all about him before long, that I promise. I grow bored of talking. Take Princess Peach back to the holding room. Yes, sir. Raw way, sir. And men, take good care of Princess Peach, understand? She is not to be harmed. You got that, sir. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm gonna have fun with this one. Uh. Well, Lord Crump, if this Mario character has the map, then it's highly likely he'll find the crystal star we're hunting in Boggly Woods. You must return there immediately and hasten the excavation. It must not fail. Oh, was that? Uh, sure. Yeah, sure. Roger, Rodus. And with that, pow, I'm gone. I wonder if sending Lord Crump there alone is wise. He's a bit out there. X not, I summon you. What away, Lord Grotus? You rang dude? I mean, sir. You mean rang Grotus dude, sir? Grotus, sir? Sir Grotus, sir? Sorry about that. Shut it up. Go get the shadow sirens over here. But, but the, the shadow sirens, sir? But, but they... I don't care how you plan to end that sentence, fool. Go get them now. 
Oh, oh, gotcha. Gotcha, sir. Sorry about that. The Honorable Grotus has need of us. Then we arrive without delay. <laughs> <laughs> Pray tell, did the princess tell you where the map is? Still your tongue, Beldam. We would already have it if you'd snatched her earlier. But now, since you missed your chance, some poor fool named Mario has the map. It wasn't my fault, truly. There were too many prying eyes there, too many. Besides, a strange old man showed up at the moment of truth, and we had to retreat. Why worry? All we need to do now is find this Mario and steal the map, yes? Indeed, that is your duty. Must I remind you? That map is vital to the x naught plan. I will have my men prepare all available information on this Mario. For now, hear me, Beldam. You shadow sirens must take care of this troublemaker. <laughs> Fear not, sire. I, Beldam, shall return with what you seek. Let's go, my lovelies. Marilyn, Vivian, come. We've got a job to do. Go! Oh dear, here we go again. I can't believe I'm kidnapped again. Mario and Toadsworth must be worried sick. Again. But, uh, hang on a moment. Where in the world am I anyway? It's so unfamiliar. I wish I could at least let Mario and Toadsworth know that I've been caught. All right, now, much like in Paper Mario 1, we get to control Peach for just a little bit. <laughs> All right, let's get this scene out of the way. What a lovely shower. No soap scum, even. Wow, I wonder if it works. Oh, my. Ah, hee hee. There you go. How refreshing. I feel like a new princess. Nice ponytail. I do dig the ponytail. Too bad you lose it in the next room. Hmm? What was that? Hey, how odd. The doors open by themselves. Yep. It's time to meet our new ally. Weird. It doesn't look like anyone's around. Yep, and then we go over here. How do I keep making these doors open? How odd. Yep. Two thousand one, a space odyssey parody right here. Hello, Princess Peach. Huh? What? Who said that? Where are you? How amusing. I'm right here before your eyes. I am this laboratory's main computer. I am the Tech XX. You may call me Tech, you may. Sir Grotus created me to be a perfect computer, one that is flawless in its reason. Grotus? Wait, he's that awful dome-headed thing who interrogated me, right? Sir Grotus is not awful. He is a very great person. He is marvelous. Well, I don't think so. But I doubt I'll change your mind, so I'm wondering, why did you lead me here? I am unsure. An unusual program deviation occurred when I observed you earlier. My higher brain, fun brain circuitry malfunctioned and nearly overheated at your image. Also, I am uh, an unidentified impulse sped through my processors. These events are new to me. There is more to this phenomenon as well. I ran diagnostic programs. And their solution was 
I want to know more about you. I want to observe you. Such a compulsion has no precedence. Cause unknown. I, the perfect computer, I must diagnose this unusual situation. I will not fail. That is why I led you here. Wait, did you say you want to observe me? To know more about me? <laughs> Could it be that you... No, it's impossible. It can't be. You're a computer. What has happened to you? If you know the mal my malfunction, you must tell me of it. Oh, I couldn't really, because it's just too weird. Please tell me, please. I am the world's best computer. I am perfect. There should not be anything that I do not understand. Please. Well, you know, maybe. It, is it possible that, well, you're in love with me? Love? What is love? I cannot compute this. Wait, you don't know what love is? Love, how do I explain? Love tells you when you want to be with a person forever. It makes you feel happy just to see that person happy, smiling, having fun. When you love someone, you will do anything to help when he or she is in trouble. Happiness. Fun. I have definitions for these words, but... My programming is insufficient. There should be nothing I cannot comprehend. I am a perfect computer. Comprehend love? Love's not something you comprehend, Tech. You feel it. Princess Peach, will you teach me to feel this thing you call love? What? You're a computer! Why would you care about love? I am perfect. There must be nothing that I cannot comprehend. Nothing. That is why you must help me understand this thing called love, please. If you have any wishes that I can grant you in exchange, I will grant them. But of course, I am unable to grant you a wish as letting you escape. What are you, insane? You ex jerks kidnap me like common Koopas. And now you call me in here to ask me to teach you the meaning of love? I should spit on your screen. You'll grant my wishes. Ha! You should... Uh, why should I believe you? I understand you are angry. That emotion I can comprehend. You need not teach me now. But I must learn of this thing. I must. There is no alternative. I must be a perfect computer. That is why, if you would just consider teaching me, I will grant your wishes. Do you understand me, Princess Peach? Now, tell me your wish. Are you sure? Well, okay, here goes. Uh, can I contact someone? The sooner the better. Yes, of course you may. Use my communicator to send wireless mail to anywhere you want. If you so wish, you can use it right now. It is no trouble. Use the keyboard in front of you. Enter the recipient address and message. You mean, like this keyboard? All right, let me give this a shot. Ooh, my voice is struggling. <laughs> okay, it's ready, Tech. Could you send it? The message has been, has been sent. For the time being, you may return to your room. I will call you in, in again when I want to ask you something. Okay then, good night. Good night, Princess Peach. Ooh. All right. First Peach and Tech uh, um, um, exchange. We've got one more side thing to do, which will be a ton of fun. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. It's time to deal with the legend himself. Such a good introduction to Bowser. <laughs> Bowser, the mighty Koopa King has arrived. Hold your applause, minions. But now that I'm here, Tammy, you crusty old hag, why did you summon me? Uh, 
Uh, Great Lord Bowser, the uh, crusty hag Cammy Koopa will arrive momentarily. I'm really sorry for the inconvenience, but please wait at the rear of the room. <laughs> yes, okay, okay. Um, yeah, we gotta do some of these dialogues because they're really funny. So the other day I saw Lord Bowser gazing longingly at a photo of Princess Peach. Uh, you may want to put a cork in it, man. Ooh, I tell you the look on his face when he was mooning over that thing. Huh? Yak! Lord Bowser! Well, I'm dying to hear the rest of your hilarious story, Mr. Comedian. Do share. I'm not funny, sir. He's not funny, sir. <laughs> Lord Bowser, I have been training day and night to help you conquer the world. You should... Should the time come, I shall be ready. Order me as you please, your surliness. Uh, super. In that case, I order you to do some sit-ups, Tubby. <laughs> All right. I'm not going to talk to everybody. Let's just get to the back of this room. All right. Cammy Koopa. Ah, Lord Bowser. Ugh. Ugh. Oy vey. Ugh. Ugh. I've just now returned. I'm terribly sorry to keep you waiting, my lord. I bet you are, Kenny Koopa. Now out with it. Why have you called me here? Please, your grumpiness, don't be so impatient with your poor servant. Ahem. It's my displeasure to report that Mario, that scum, is off to a town called Rogueport. <laughs> Am I Mario's babysitter? I don't care what he's doing. Are you going to call me every time that guy blows his nose or what? Sheesh. Yes, well, you see, my lord, apparently Mario is hunting an amazing treasure. T treasure Yes, Mario has gone in search of some star-shaped jewels known as the Crystal Stars. In I'm researching just what they are, but there's no question of their high value. The crystal Stars, you say? They sound like good world-conquering tools. I want them. Hmm. Yes, very good. Continue researching this for me, you brainy hag, you. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Leave it to me. Uh, by the way, Lord Bowser, do you like fried eggs? Well, personally, I really do like them. You bet I do. Do I? I love fried eggs. Love them. But what a weird question. Why do you ask? Well, during my Mario Recon, I stopped in a lovely place called Petal Meadows. I was planning on taking everyone there for a picnic, having some eggs and toast. Of course, I wouldn't think of sending out invites without asking you first, Lord Bowser. Oh, hey. A picnic? You moron! This is no time for fun! See, this is why my evil plans always derail, because of you clods always goofing off! Arrgh. Oh dear, Lord Bowser, please calm down. Remember your blood pressure. Hmm? What's that? What? Is this true? Lord Bowser, terrible news. Some bold fool abducted Princess Peach in Rogueport. Uh, what? Tell me you're lying, Cammy. How? When? Where? Who do such a thing besides me? I'm afraid we don't have that information quite yet. The inv investigation's ongoing. One thing is most certainly confirmed, however. The princess has been kidnapped. Under no circumstances is anyone allowed to kidnap her without my say-so. I will not stand for this. I'm going to rogue port now. I've got to kidnap her back. Oh, oh. oh yep, the classic clown car. But your grudginess, wait up! And the devious duo was off on their own adventure. Oh. Ooh. Oh, my voice. There we go. <clears throat> All right, just a little bit more. And <laughs> then we will continue on to our next objective. <laughs> Oops, my lad, are you telling me that you're going with Mario? Um, that's right, Dad. I'm going to continue traveling with Mario. And then I'm, well, 
I'm going to come back a strong Koopa like you, Dad. Nicely said, young Koops. That's my boy. But always remember this. You're my son, Koops, and I am your father. Koops, my sweet, I'll be right here waiting for you to prove yourself. <laughs> May I just add, if anything happens, you can always come home, Koops. Don't you ever forget that. This village will always be your home. Okay, thank you, everyone. Well, I'm off. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mario. You know, farewells. So, where are we going? Let's head back to Rogueport. Remember, Mario, the bearer of the magical map shall unfurl it before the thousand-year door. When this is done, the star shall guide the bearer to the crystal star with pure light. And it didn't stop there. Each crystal star shall point to the next. That's what the book says. Which means, if we take the crystal star we found back to the thousand-year door... So, that means the location of the next crystal star will appear on that magic map. Exactly. Come on, let's go! Yep. But before we do that, let's go over here, grab this, Mega Rush, and we're off! Onward! Let's head back to the Thousand Year Door! Our adventure is just beginning, and trust me, we, uh... <laughs> We've got so much more coming our way. Yeah.